Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22631.2050. This is a pretty big build for the beta channel because this build introduces a lot of the Windows 11 23H2 features. And as you can see also on the beta channel, we have the 23H2 label. So you could expect in the next few builds a lot more 23H2 features. And in this video, of course, we're going to cover everything that there is to it in this build, new things, fixes, and so on. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, don't forget to check out the article below if you want to learn more about how the beta channel system works and why there are two different builds that can be released on the beta channel. Of course, we've talked about these features quite a lot in this period, so I'm not going to go in depth with it. But first of all, Microsoft officially announced the modernized File Explorer Home, Address Bar and Details Pane, so everything that you can see here is modernizing the beta channel and these features are coming from the dev and canary channels so it's really nice that we're gonna see this in windows 11 23 h2 they also have dynamic lighting inside the beta channel of course where you can choose and change the rgb colors for your devices and you have a lot of options here such as applying a solid color or other effects to your rgb devices and there is a list of compatible devices with this so you can check that out in the article below there are also some improvements for windows inc which is now modernized to allow users to enable inking directly into edit fields and that is pretty nice and the new experience can be managed inside settings bluetooth and devices and then pen and windows ink inside the beta channel we also have the updated volume mixer with the improvements that microsoft recently announced and you're also going to have the ability to enable windows sonic experience with a quick access list of installed spatial sound technology thing that is really nice windows spotlight is also improved with the ability to preview images to full screen multiple ways to learn more about each image and a minimized experience. You're gonna see how that looks and this is slowly rolling out to insiders in the beta channel. We also have the passwordless improvements which will allow basically users to connect to certain services without a password. Of course, if those services support passkey, we're also getting the unsafe password copy and paste warnings that are related to Windows Defender and these are pretty useful in my opinion. The narrator app is also getting natural voices in Chinese, Spanish, Japanese and English. That is also really nice. If you want to learn more info about this again in the article below. Microsoft also improved the sharing experience inside File Explorer. We talked about this in the latest build from the dev channel but basically you can select a file click on the share button or right click on it and then click on the share button and here you will have an updated experience with a redesigned window, a new search box, an easier way to turn on nearby sharing and a lot more improvements that you can check out inside the beta channel. If a camera streaming issue is detected such as camera failing to start or a closed camera shutter, a pop-up dialog will appear with a recommendation to launch the automated get help troubleshooter to resolve the issue. Urgent or important notifications that break through when do not disturb is turned on while using apps at full screen will now display a view notification button to view the content of the notification for privacy. Microsoft is also introducing the never combine mode for the taskbar but unfortunately right now it is not working on the beta channel inside taskbar settings and then taskbar behaviors. You have it here but it currently doesn't work. Microsoft says that this will be fixed in a future beta channel flight. And also in settings, system, and then for developers, you also will have the option to enable end task and taskbar by right click. And if you enable this, you'll have this extra button when you right click on an opened app on the taskbar and you'll get this end task button that you can easily use to end that app. Microsoft is also introducing the Unicode Emoji 15 and some new emojis and I think that is pretty nice. And also when navigating between desktops and task view, labels will be shown and also new sliding animations when you change your desktops using trackpad gestures, touch gestures, hotkeys and by clicking on the task view flyout. Voice access is now available via the accessibility flyout on the lock screen. This is also interesting. Microsoft also added inside the settings app system power and battery energy recommendations, a new energy recommendation or saving energy of course which is turned on dynamic refresh rate to conserve energy. This is also pretty useful. And Microsoft also updated the design of the lists displayed under settings, app and startup apps, and also settings, apps, advanced app settings and app execution alias. I think that is also really nice. So these are pretty much all the new improvements and changes inside the beta channel. And there are quite a few features from the Canary and the dev channels as well. Of course, features that will be present in Windows 11 23 H2. And we also have two fixes in this build regarding the file explorer. Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the context 
text menu in File Explorer or on desktop to draw in the wrong position off screen or on the other screen. And also regarding the task manager, by clicking the empty space in the details page, aka so no process is actually selected, will no longer show the option to create live kernel memory dumps. And this is basically all there is to it in this beta channel build. If you want to check out the known issues, which are two, you can check out the article below in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the tech base channel. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.